up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Ah. Man, you know, I went to the Olympia and I was fortunate enough to have some friends within the industry that got me, Alyssa, Big Wit, and the contest winners from the TigerFitness.com Roll With The Machine contest. Literally front row seats, the best seats you could possibly get other than being a judge at the Olympia. It was an awesome show. And I got a lot of new perspective on bodybuilding. One is what amazing athletes these guys are. Two is, wow, Big Rami is big. And he looks good. So I got the question many times, being there and you saw my live tweets about it. Who can dethrone Phil Heath as the Mr. Olympia? And I see this as a possibility for next year, even if Phil Heath comes in at his best. Big Rami, while I don't believe they said he was 316 pounds, he didn't look that much bigger than Phil. I believe he weighed in at a good maybe 290 to 300 pounds, or he might have been 315, 316. Regardless, that's one big guy. That is one big guy with a small waist, amazing taper, just amazingly huge. Now, the reason why Rami got deservedly got seventh, in my opinion, is conditioning. Branch won weight via conditioning, okay? That's how Branch is going to win. Branch isn't going to bring the best size. He's not. He's only like 240 to 260 pounds, whatever weight you want to believe on that day, okay? Branch won. Branch got six due to his conditioning muscle maturity, and graininess. And that's how Branch is going to beat you. The top five deserved the top five. Wolf deserved, I believe, higher than what he got. I do not see Dexter. Dexter's like in his mid-40s. Sean Roden is in his late 30s. Phil Heath is my age. He's 35. I don't see Sean Roden, Dexter Jackson, or Dennis Wolf, or take it a step further, I don't see Branch Warren, who's 40, Beating Phil Heath. I don't see it happening. I see a better chance of me being struck by lightning right at this moment than them beating Phil Heath. Phil Heath is that damn good. And has He's perfect. From top to bottom, he has calves. He doesn't have a weak point on his body. His issue has been bringing in consistent conditioning. I think he nailed his conditioning just enough to win. Was it the best it could have been? No. But it was damn good conditioning. Okay? It was good conditioning. Roden was a bit off. His, uh, his stomach was out of control in some poses. Even Wolf, his stomach was not in control in some poses. Dexter's been consistent. He's looked the same for year after year after year. And there's an article I'm going to post down below that Steve Shaw wrote um, about his bodybuilding dying. You know, And I want you guys to read that about the evolution of bodybuilding. It makes a case for the fact the sport is better than ever and the IFBB is where it's at. Now, if Rami... I'm going to make this statement right now. Who can dethrone Phil Heath? Who is the next Mr. Olympia? 2016. If Rami drops about 10 to 15, even 20 pounds, he will still be bigger than everyone on stage by 10 to 20%. When Big Rami stood by P, I kid you not, I'm watching this. I'm literally, I mean, I could throw, I was so close I could throw a feather and hit the stage. We were right fucking there, you know? Um... I mean, Big Wit almost shit his pants. He thought I was the coolest guy ever getting those seats. You know, it was like, you got these seats, and I'm watching this, and there's the comparison with, with Rami next to everybody. Rami's legs are this much bigger than everyone else's legs. Rami's back is this much wider than everyone else's back. Rami's just a big motherfucker. His legs don't make any sense. And I've been a wrong, I said Ronnie will not beat Phil, and I was wrong. And I will take that back 100%. I'm a friend of Phil. I'm accused of riding Phil's dick all the time, so obviously I'm not doing this because I'm a friend of Phil. I'm doing this as an objective fan and because people have asked me on my Periscope. By the way, there's a Periscope tonight at um, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. I think that if Rami comes in shape, if he's able to diet down and bring the shreds, if Rami's able to bring striations along with that size, because imagine how deep his glutes will be shredded with all that muscle. If he diets down correctly, loses another 10 to 20 pounds. If Rami can die, if Rami can get conditioned and can diet, Big Rami will be the next Mr. Olympia. 
it's simply like he looked, I, I remember someone told me at the Olympia, I don't remember who told me this. It was like watching a man among boys. He was that much bigger than everyone else. And the thing is, he didn't have the distended gut. He did. And he's very, if you could tell, he's very appreciative. Like after he post, does his little thing, you know, I mean, I, I see Rami as a very respectful guy and I don't see the language barrier being an issue. I don't see any of that being an issue. I see the fact that there's one big guy on stage who looks phenomenal, who has a tapered waist, who has the biggest thighs I've ever seen on even a 600 pound woman on that show on Lifetime or whatever the learning channel. My 600 pound life, his thighs are bigger than theirs, except they're strong, they're muscular. His chest is huge, his back is huge. There's no downside to that monstrous physique. And uh, I really think if he does bring conditioning, Big Rami will win the next Mr. Olympia. Question is, can he bring the conditioning? Seventh to first, it's been done before. You guys ever heard of one Ronnie Coleman? He came from out of nowhere. But people expect great things from Rami. And right now, I'm a big Rami fan. I'm a big, big Rami fan. Get it? He's big Rami. I'm a big fan. I'm a big... You get it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Chime in down below. See if you agree with what I'm saying. But I tweeted, Rami is a man among boys, but he's softer than a Q-tip. That's exactly what I tweeted verbatim almost. I don't say I don't, I don't know if I said a man among boys, but I said he's huge, but he's softer than a Q-tip. Man, if Rami brings it, you might see the greatest phys you might see something that'll rival Ronnie's best. And even Ronnie said that himself. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Cause trying to predict the next Mr. Olympia. Based on the fact if they can get even leaner than and he's already pretty lean, but he's he's like probably 7% body fat. If he gets down to five, game over. That's not a game.